Hello, we will see how to file GSTR1 with Zoho Books. GSTR1 filing is a three-step process. You will have to first upload the transactions into the GST network. Then you have to verify and submit the transactions. Finally, you will have to file the return. Please keep your GSTN username and the registered phone ready. In order to file GST returns directly from Zoho Books, you will have to enable API access from your GST portal. Let's see how to do that. First, log into your GST portal and head to dashboard section. Click on my profile and click on manage API access. Select yes here and set the duration to 30 days and click confirm. Now let's head back to Zoho Books. These are the invoices I've created so far. Let's head to GST filing section under the accountant tab. Choose the month for which you're filing here. GSTR1 report consists of all the invoices, credit notes, advance payments, refund vouchers, and debit notes created for that particular month. Under the overview tab, you will find the summary categorized and ordered based on the tables in GSTR1 specified by GSTN. Here you can drill down to see the transactions which contributes the value. You will find all the transactions for the selected month under this view transaction tab. This includes both transactions which are uploaded into the GSTN and those which are yet to be uploaded. You can use this transaction type filter to view the particular type. You can filter a particular transaction type according to the GSTR1 tables and you can also filter transactions which are yet to be uploaded. Under the push to GSTN tab, you will find all the transactions which are yet to be uploaded into GST network. You can view and verify the HSN summary, NIL summary and B2CS summary respectively. Under the documents issued section, click on edit and add the serial numbers, total number of documents issued and the total number of cancelled documents under each document type. Under the Exceptions tab, you will find the list of transactions which will not be uploaded into GSTN. Few examples would be credit notes or debit notes which are not associated to any invoices. Transactions created with GST treatment as out of scope or non-GST supply, etc. Once you have verified all the transactions, click on Push to GSTN. In this pop-up, you will have to enter the aggregate turnover in the preceding financial year and the turnover for April to June 2017. Now, click on Push to GSTN and click on this Generate OTP button. Please note that you will receive the OTP from GSTN in both your registered email address and in the registered phone number. Enter the OTP and complete the process. When your GSTR1 transactions have uploaded successfully, Zoho Books will notify you via an email and it will also be updated in this notification section. Now you have successfully uploaded all the transactions to GSTN. Under the File Your Return section, you can view the GSTR1 report preview and if GSTN has reverted back with any errors, you will find them here. You can rectify them and re-upload the transactions. Now let's head to GSTN, go to Dashboard and click on Returns Dashboard. Choose the return filing period and select GSTR1. Since we have pushed all the transactions from Zoho Books, all the fields and boxes will be filled in. Scroll down and click on Preview. A PDF will be downloaded. Cross-check the data and once you have verified the uploaded data, check this box and submit the report. This is a very important step as you will not be allowed to change any data after this submit process. So please take your time and verify the uploaded data. Once done, click submit. Finally, check this box and file GSTR1 with DSC or with EBC. This is the third and final step. With this, you will have filed your GSTR1 successfully. Now go back to Zoho Books and into the File Return section. Here, click on More and mark this as Filed. This completes the entire GSTR1 filing process. Hope this helps. Let us know if you need any assistance in filing GSTR1. 
send your emails to gstindia@zohofinance.com or call our GST helpline. Thank you.